Fun fact, I record these episodes in advance, all in one singular day, even if it's multiple for you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the Insanity Era, welcome back to Undertale. Last time we met Dr. Alphys and her creation, Metaton. Now, see that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power for the underworld. Ground. It converts geothermic energy into magical energy, but, uh, anyway, that's where we're going to. And the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. Yep. Hotland is, I think, second to last area that we're in in Undertale. Not bad if I do say so myself. Please select a location. Uh, I think I want to go to the left floor one. Not 100% sure here. Uh, do I have that? No, I, I don't think I have this right. No, I definitely don't have this right. Let, let me just see something. Because that might change what we do today. <laughs> I was wondering what we were going to be doing today. <laughs> Tra la la I am the river man or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride my boat. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Riding the boat? Yes. Where will we go today? Using the river person, you can go to Snowden, Waterfall, or Hotland. Yep, just those three. Then we're off. The fun thing is, he's only available once you've un once you've reached Hotland. He's not available in Snowden or Waterfall. Run la la, the water is very wet today. Yes, it's water. <laughs> welcome back to Hotland, or <laughs> welcome back to Waterfall. I mean, come back again sometime. Tra la la. That'll take us directly right here. I think we have to go here. Yep. So, I can't actually show this, but when you reach the Hotland sign in the fight with Undyne, if you press X, which usually opens the menu, you'll get a call from Papyrus, and that sets this up. Oh, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Will you hang out? Yes! Okay! Stand behind me! Psst. Make sure to give her this! She loves these! Hi, Papyrus! Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi! I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Oh boy. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you! On their own! Ah, uh, thanks. I'll, uh... Put it with the others. Papyrus gives her bones. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! And he proceeds to jump out the window. So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No! Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Never with you. What? First you parade into my house, then you insult me? You little brat. I have half a mind to... Wait. I'll prove you wrong. We are going to be friends. In fact, we... Are going to be besties! 
I'll make you like me so much, your whole life will revolve around me. It's the perfect revenge. <laughs> uh, now, why don't you have a seat? Fun fact! I have never viewed that before. Usually, you're, usually someone says yes, and that causes Papyrus to go through the window. Speaking of which, I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. One time, Alfie's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed! Well, maybe some nerds. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Aww. This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. Which I assume you have. In the sink is... Wait. I, I wasn't looking at the sink. Like inside the bone drawer? What? Uh... I've never seen that. That was very new to me. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Uh... I hate cold food. So Alfie's fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Humans suck, but their history kinda rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Sure, let's say we're all Cloud Strife. Heh, <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So, me and Alfie's built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Sit down and progress. Yes. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. She'll pick out some items for us. Only one is the right one. And we'll see briefly. What each of them does. <laughs> All set. What would you like? Holy cannoli. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, well, why don't you just point to what you want? You can use the spear. You can select Undyne. Are you hitting on me? Sugar goes in tea. That's sugar for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like, the ice cream woman? Do you and ice cream woman terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Sure. What? Really? <laughs> that rules! Soda, sticky yellow liquid. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> That's fine. I think soda's gross, too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! Uh, why do I have it? <laughs> Hot chocolate. Green cylinder. Tea. Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Hasgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Okay... The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No! <laughs> Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved house guest. Yeah, she wants to kill us. Tea, huh? Coming right up! Yep, the only correct option is T. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Uh, 
Oh. Okay, it's all done. I can't do, like, female voices. <laughs> At least what Undyne's is meant to be. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! Hey. Y you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea? That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets the trained dorks to fight. Like, uh, a pirus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if... I can never let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty frickin' tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into smiling little shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're on a tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson! He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it... You'll have to have it for him! Oh boy! That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! Yeah, grab on my head, won't you? Let's start with the sauce! Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound in the dust with your fists. How will you pound? Wimpy. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy the store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah! Uh, just put them in. Oh, you put them in. Careful. You place the noodles in one at a time. They clank against the empty bottom. Nice. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. I am mashing hard as I can! Stir harder! 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 Ugh, let me do it! Uh, Undyne, you're beating the pot. <laughs> That's the stuff! Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Let the stovetop symbolize your passion! Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire! Ready? Don't hold anything back! Hotter! Hotter! 
Darn it! Honor! Wait, that's too... Oh, Pyra. Ah. Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Come on. Hit me with all you got. Now, Dine is letting you make the first attack. Fake attack. You pretend to swing and Undyne with all your might. You do one damage no matter what you do. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh, <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid sarcer and stick. But the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. <laughs> now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, even some, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Remember that... So, there's an episode of Spongebob where Spongebob has to write an essay. He starts hallucinating and ends up burning his house down. That's all I can think of when I see this. Just, why? Like, I can't remember the exact quote that the house said. I think it was, why? Why did you light me on fire, SpongeBob? You should have just written your essay. Stop wasting time! And something like that, and it's hilarious just looking at this. <laughs> anyway, what Undyne said was no joke. She is now hanging out at Papyrus's house. You can visit her anytime you wish. And, if you call Papyrus, specifically right here, that's Undyne's house! It's a great place to... Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's my house! Hi, Undyne! How'd you get here so fast? I ran. Wowie, Undyne! Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you! Okay, that's something I've never seen before. I never tried calling... Um, Undyne and Papyrus at Undyne's house after you light it on fire. That is awesome. I never tried doing that immediately after she left. Anyway, I think that's good enough to end this for today. Next time on Undertale, we'll actually go through more of Hotland. <laughs>